Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about a new lip product of mine. So this, I've been looking for something like this because under the mask, I noticed lipsticks is really not so comfortable underneath. It's like they move around, they, they smudge everywhere. That's why I opted now to use just a tinted lip balm, lip balms, or even like colorless kind of lip products because I just feel like it's easier and it will not like smudge everywhere whenever I use them. So while looking for possible lip products, I just discovered this while browsing, but I know this has been very popular or like even a cult favorite for years now. And finally I got to try it. So this is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade 12 Rosewood. So in my country, I we only have three shades here, I think, where I got it. But in the States and maybe other parts of the world, you can get more. So yeah, if you want to see my application and how it goes on my lips. So yeah, please keep watching. Now we will apply the Lip Glow from Dior. So I've been wearing this and I go to work because it's just good under the mask. Uh, it's not like it's really light, but I will show you first. As you can see, it's really just almost it's very sheer but it has a good um, like tint to it it's not like it's just a transparent kind of thing that's uh, like a shade but I really love how uh, it it's so smooth and just really soft on the lips so this is how it looks so that was my application for the definition it says here, the Dior Addict Lip Glow Lip Balm is available as a glossy lip oil that deeply protects and enhances the lips, lastingly bringing out their natural color. Genuine lip care infused with cherry oil, Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil instantly nourishes, protects, softens, and revitalizes the lips, which I totally agree. This lip Oil. This lip oil teams an intense lip care formula with a natural flattering color finish for an ultra luminous result. It adapts to all lip colors to bring out their rosy glow. It's non-greasy, non-sticky and non-sticky oil texture pushes the boundaries of shine and creates a smooth film that shapes the lips with an almost magnifying mirror shine effect, which I also agree. Multi-purpose lip makeup, Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil can be worn on its own as a lip primer under a lipstick or as a top coat for volumizing shine. I still didn't use this as a top, like a um, primer, but alone I noticed that it really gives what they said, like a rosy glow and yeah, it just enhances your lips. It's like, a, uh, like my lips, but better. So as you can see, I like this, especially during like because underneath, underneath the mask, it feels like it's so hydrating on the lips and I noticed it has like a minty feel to it but not like so extreme because I remember I didn't like anything menthol. I don't even like um, anything drinks that has mint to it because I, I just don't like the taste. That was, I was a bit afraid of this but it's really like subtle kind of um, mint. It's not overpowering or overwhelming on the lips that it will be like some I noticed before like volumizing kind of lip products it's really like so tacky it's like it feels like it really plumps your lips and it's not so com comfortable but this is really like so light so even yeah the the feeling is just so nourishing if I could compare it to the tower 28 uh, lip, like this the tower 28 lip uh, what is shine on jelly this is really thick and this is really light I prefer this um, formula of this more than the tower 28 and yeah it's just and the packaging is so beautiful um, yeah it's just the detail of this and so compact as well I like I think I would really bring this especially if I'm able to go back or have vacation I would really bring this to the summertime because it's just like a perfect on the go and everyday kind of lip product that will suit any makeup look and it's just like for everyday like my no makeup makeup look but your lips will be enhanced or would look a bit better and yeah that's what i love about this is so nourishing i notice it's long lasting on the lips even at night i still feel like my lips are nourished even oh, i've worked for uh, more than five hours already and it still feels so 
nourishing even if after I eat I still feel it, it still stays um, my f my lips are still hydrated normally i just during break that i just drink water and a bit of cookie or muesli so there's still a lot left and it f it still feels so nourished and hydrated after and yeah it's just i'm really glad i i finally tried it normally i will i never buy this kind of products but lately I just want this kind of like hydrating because and when you wear a mask it's really not nice wearing lipsticks I noticed that I, I prefer like lip balm or like tinted or lip balm or like lip oil like this so I highly recommend this and this smells so yeah it smells like a menthol menthol candy it's like it reminds me of mentos actually this yeah mentos smell like this certainly and the the applicator is really so thick and chubby so it just especially with my lips it just coats it uh, faster and yeah one coat is even more than enough and yeah i just really love this everything about it how it looks how it feels the quality is really amazing and i even bought more dior like good favorite lip products because of this because i loved it so much i bought two another dior product which i will review soon so please watch out for it so yeah i highly recommend this and so because i'm i noticed a lot of people are wondering how it will be like if i review products how it compared to the other lip products so i will try to compare it and swatch it for you so this is the dior so it's so almost transparent but has a tint to it i specifically um chose rosewood because i like that like reddish brownish kind of shade that's why i chose this so that is that i think this is comparable to the tower 28 cashew tower 28 for me is just too sticky actually So this is Tower 20, much more like brown and much more pigmented and also thicker kind of formula. And I noticed under the mask, it's too, too much for me. And I think this is comparable to Cedar Later from Cotton Wild. Uh, this is too opaque. This is almost like a liquid lipstick. So this is Cedar Later. So this is more like Cashew and Cedar Later are much more in this, almost the same family and now i'll try the rose trim i don't think this is the same probably so i'll try the roman um, glassing water so this more yeah maybe this is much more close to this but just much pigmented um, if i just try yeah just more reddish and what is this the romant fig fig let's see ah this is too red this is the fig fig from romant and last one is vintage ocean from romant so i as you notice i really like colors like this like brownish red so hmm the closest one for me is the Tower 28. Yeah, the Tower 28. It's almost the same. It's just more brown and less pigmented compared to the other one. So that's my uh, comparison. And this is really a thick com formula, the Wet and Wild. So yeah, I think it's much more com comparable to Tower 28. But Tower 28, it's much more thicker and really, s yeah much more hydrating but it's really too much on on me on the lips under the mask and i feel like it's i almost feel like i have like i was eating so sweet or candy because it feels so like sticky and sweet at the same time that's why i don't really like the tower 28 one under the mask this one is better because it's not i don't feel like aftertaste or like something that i just ate and i don't feel like i just ate something that's why i prefer the uh light uh, the transparent one so 
yeah that's my comparison i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions please do let me know and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can and if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah if i'm able to post a blog post about this i will link it in my description box if ever i'm able to publish it already so yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in my next one bye